God bless you and heaven smile upon you is my prayer. I'm Pastor Barry L. Ginyard Jr., pastor of True Covenant Church in Detroit, Michigan, and I want to welcome you to another edition of Keys to the Covenant. You know, so many times in this life we feel as if we're all by ourselves, as if no one is looking out for us or even concerned about our well-being. Well, I want to let you know today that you are not alone. There is someone there, and he's concerned about everything that concerns you. I want to encourage you with this word, the hills have eyes. Get your Bibles and turn with me to the book of Psalms, Psalms 121, verse 1 through 8. The Bible says there, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word and to the hearers of his word, and may it sink deep into our hearts and do us good in days and times to come. You know, one of the greatest books in the entire Bible, arguably, is the book of Psalms. Great, not just because of its size, but because of the message that it offers. Psalms is a book that's filled with prayer and praise and it's divided into five divisions. Mistakenly, some people call all of the Psalms the Psalms of David. However, David actually wrote only about half of those Psalms. And one of his contributions is our text today. In Psalms 121, David is offering praise to God. And I wanna extract three keys from this text to help you in your walk. David says, I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help. It's from this that we derive our first key. The source of man's help is higher than man. You know, throughout my ministry, I've heard people say things like, Pastor, when I come to God, I want to come correctly. I don't want to be a hypocrite. So there's some things that I need to work out first before I come. Well, this is both foolish and admirable. It's admirable from the standpoint that of a truth, we must have a made up mind. We must be committed to this walk if we're going to be successful in God. In fact, the Bible says in Hebrews chapter number 10, verse 38, that if we draw back, that the spirit of God will have no pleasure in us. And we definitely don't want that. And so we have to commit ourselves to God. The Bible says in Psalms 37 and 5, commit your way to the Lord, trust also in him. And so we have to be sure about our walk with God. We have to know that this is what we want to do and we have to choose to follow him. So it's admirable that we don't want to come to God and draw back and come and be a hypocrite. But it's foolish from the standpoint that if we had the power to do it ourselves, then we would have already done it. The Bible lets us know in Romans chapter 8 verse 3 that the flesh is sinful and it's because of this predisposition to sin that we have a hard time letting sin go of our own power. So I want us to know today that the source of man's help is higher than man. We have to look to God for the help that we need to live this life. The second key is derived from the passage of scripture, which reads, he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Here, David makes a shift. He shifts from a place of exclusive worship and acknowledgement of God to a place of inclusive prophecy. He speaks this simple yet profound word into your life and into mine. And he gives us our second key. And that is that the Lord will not let us fall. So we don't have to worry about the embarrassment of falling. We don't have to worry about how sharp the rocks are or even the sting of impact because the Lord is able to keep us from falling. You know, that's good news because there are so many things that the enemy throws at us to trip us up. Things like temptation or generational curses. Uh, all of these things are designed to cause us to stumble. And, you know, Donnie McClurkin wrote a song that said, we fall down, but we get up. And I love that song and I love Donnie. Uh, but I heard Marvin Winans write a song that said, it's good to know that he'll be there if ever I do fall, 
but it's better to know that I don't have to fall at all. So I want to encourage you today to know that you don't ever have to fall at all. You can live saved. You can live without making mistakes. You can live without messing up. There's a lot of people that think that you can't, but I want to let you know that it is possible because the Lord is able to keep us from falling. In fact, David says here, he won't let us fall. So be encouraged to know that you don't have to fall. This final key is a simple one, but it's a blessing. And it is, God sees you right where you are. You can't go to a place where his eyes can't see you. You can't be in a situation where his hands cannot reach you. It says here that he never sleeps, nor does he slumber. In other words, he doesn't get tired. He doesn't take a break. He doesn't need a vacation. He's always present. He's a very present help, even in the time of trouble. I want you to know today that God sees you right where you are. He's there not just to take up space, but he's there to help us. He's there to lift us up when we are hung down. He's there to dust us off when the cares of life stain us. I want you to understand this today, that God sees you right where you are, and he's concerned about everything that concerns you. In closing, I want to leave these three thoughts with you. Remember, the source of man's help is higher than man. The things that we deal with in life, we can't fix them on our own. We need God's help. Also, we don't have to worry about the embarrassment of falling because God is able to keep us from falling. Finally, I want you to know that God sees you right where you are and he's there to help you. He's there because he's concerned about you. So until the next time, fight the good fight of faith and know that we have been empowered to be God's church and God's people. God bless you.